Hi guys and welcome to a game called Banish that I banished uh, even that I picked up on the Steam sales. Uh, it wasn't very much, I think it was about £5 something, I don't know if it's still on sale, I'll have a look and I will either annotate it or pop a link in the description to the game. Anyway, I went for the uh, tutorial, the getting started tutorial because I haven't got a clue about this game. But this is going to be part of my Steam sale purchases thing. I don't really know what I'm going to call it, I did have a brilliant name for it and I can't even remember. But um, yeah, I'll post like one or two videos on every game that I purchased in the Steam sales and if any of you find any particularly interesting or want me to play any that I've recently bought, then you'll have to let me know or just like it, whichever one gets the most likes, I'll do a playthrough of blah blah blah. Anyway, welcome to Banished. In this game you control a group of exiled travellers who decide to restart their lives in a new land. You'll have to help them survive. Okay. So at any time during the tutorial you can access the options by- yeah I know that bit. So, so you can use Wasad to move stuff about. You can also move the mouse to the edge of the camera screen, blah blah blah. Okay. I feel like I sh oh yeah I can but it doesn't like it because I'm not on full screen, okay. So Q and E, ooh this is very trippy, but it's quite cool though. Okay, so we can do that. That feels better. You can zoom the camera in and out by pressing insert and delete. Scrolling will also zoom in. Okay. That's cool. You can change the pitch of the camera by pressing page up, page down. Ooh, okay. Cool. I like this. All the keyboard keys are configured. Yep. Yeah. Now that you're familiar, let's start playing. The people need to, va need to blah blah. Need three things to survive shelter, food, and a way to keep warm in the winter. You might notice that some people have a house above their heads. This means they don't have a place to live. Right, so. House. Hut. Where are we gonna put it? Ah, oh, okay. There. Placing a building will leave a footprint where it will be built. To get the townsfolk to start construction, you'll have to collect wood for the structure and stone for the foundation. You can cut down trees by clicking this and then this. Oh, okay, this is brilliant. So, like, click and drag as far as we want to destroy. That's awesome. The townsfolk will head to that area and start moving rocks and trees. While they're busy, you can place a stockpile. Okay, so this is very like a Age of Empires and that sort of thing. Right, the townsfolk will now move the harvested rocks and trees to the stockpile. Once there are materials in the stockpile, the people will move logs and stone to... Okay, so that to there and then there to there. I get it. While any townsperson can cut down tree or move materials, some jobs require specialised workers. In this case, you'll need to assign builders. Right, that makes sense. Build, assign jobs. Right, okay, so how many do we want? Says two. Okay. So using the mouse... R to rotate. So that way. Oh, okay, so we're just building loads of hooses. Right. So we can press the clock button and speed it up. Right, try getting used to modifying game speed. You can slow down the yeah. It's not very nice weather, is it? We haven't really picked the best time to start. Oh, once the houses are built, we'll be done. What's this mean? Oh, stone is low. Oh, look at that, Bambi. So cute. Oh, I bet we're going to have to kill them. This, this is a cool game. I have proved so far. I think I'm going to do a playthrough of this anyway. I don't even know what the uh, main objective is, thinking about it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, ten times, even quicker. We need to build all these houses. Da, da, da. Ooh, this is nice. I didn't realise that... Uh, you could just get him to chop everything down in one go. That's quite good. So like anything in the area will be chopped down. I thought that was just going to be the trees. Do you know what? That's real noisy. I will uh, double check it when I... When I go to edit. That'll do. Let's try that. Seems quite noisy though. really cool. Hurry up though. It's, get, it's raining, you need to get in the house. 
Oh yeah, that's the point. We only have two builders and we're running out of firewood. Good to know. Oh, have we finished all this now? Oh, we should probably set them to uh, do some more. But we'll wait for that. Right. You built the houses. That may have seemed like a lot of work for a few houses, but now you know how to build anything. To build any structure, place a building footprint. The citizens will clear the area and they'll collect enough resources to build that structure. As long as there are citizens assigned as builders, they'll do the rest. The people are going to need food, otherwise they'll starve. They can acquire food in a variety of ways. They can hunt, gather and fish, plant crops, grow orchards or raise livestock. If the people are close to starving to death, the hunger icon will appear above their heads. Oh dear. Blah blah, since the town is near a river, the quickest way is to build a fishing dock. Right, so that fishes. Like this. Right. Blah blah. Professions. Oh, okay. So how many do we want? Four. Wow. Okay. You may notice this icon. This means that the workers you've just signed don't have a place to work. As soon as the fishing dock is done, they'll start working. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Shut. Cool. So we can use the time. I'm going to have to change that to the arrow keys to move my camera around. I don't like it. I don't know why. Right, so we... Okay, so we might need to start clearing some more space, actually. Depends what this needs to be made out of. What doesn't it say? I don't think it even says. Speedy! Hurry! 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 We need some fish or we're all going to starve and it's all going to be your fault. What's this? I take it they're cold. They haven't got any firewood or something. Right, if you build roads, people will move slightly faster as they move from place to place. Right? Uh, I think I could just this. No, I'm not. So click and drag from one end to the other. What? It says you can't do it there. What are you on about? Um, this way. See, it says it cannot be placed. Oh, okay, so it just with being a pain. The same builders will prepare the road. After they perform construction, the town's work people will move quicker. As the town grows and workers produce food and other resources from many locations, it's useful to see an overview of what the town has. So this, this, ah, okay, I might leave that up. In the overview, you can see the amount of stored construction materials, food, firework, firework and firewood, clothing and tools. You can also see current population, average health and happiness as well as current weather. When food and other consumable goods are produced they need to be stored somewhere until the people have been placing oh until now the people have been placing everything in a cart. So we need a barn. Everything seems to be on top of each other rather. Okay you see there are not enough logs to finish the barn. Right so this, this, Bit more casual deforestation if I don't mind. Right, so people need a way to stay warm. The easiest way to do that is cut what looks looks logs into firewood, losing the block. Now select the woodcutter. Right. So we need to make a woodcutter. I feel like it's not facing it. No, it's not. Okay, so that's oh so they, they are gonna freeze to death. Blah blah, make everything hurry up. So we're low on logs. Yeah, but they should be. I was gonna say they should be cutting those bad boys down. It's quite cool that I'm running at a solid 60 frames per second though. That might look quite cool. we doing this is horrible weather I feel really sorry for these people so what's this one gonna be again I forgot doop doop so we're low on what stone and logs oh dear are we done yet oh we seem to be done we seem to be collecting food do we collect food? are we collecting food stored clothes ah food yes okay cool so people are doing what they're meant to be doing so what's this oh yeah I think this is the barn isn't it yeah, it is the barn, and then this is the log cutty place, so nobody freezes to death, which they actually might do. Should probably be a bad start. Right, so 
Is this our barn? Do you not like, can you not click on them when they're done? Do they just serve a purpose and you can't actually do anything? Okay, so. Oh right, okay, so we can use so one wood cutter. A worker will now start producing firewood. He or she will move logs from stockpiles to the building and cut them into firewood. The rest of the town will use firewood to heat their homes. That cart the people arrived is with is no longer needed. You can remove it with destruction tools. Oh, whoops. What? Oh, okay, so it's going to take a little while. Oh, so they're just going to take it down, I think. Okay. With some maintenance and little luck, a small town like this will survive for many years. The children will grow up, become workers, and have children of their own. New houses can be built and the town can expand. If at any point you need help, press the I don't really know what's going on button. Ta da! Cool. Cool. I want to shut it. Press quit to return to the main menu. Okay! That was interesting. As your town grows, additional specialised buildings can help make survival easier. In this tutorial, you'll build work areas for all those other things. Right, so we need a blacksmith, apparently. I'm not entirely sure what for. Well, I know what they do, but I don't know why we'd need one. What's this? A tailor. Ooh, we're going to be fancy. Right. Oh, and herbalist. Wow, we're going to have everything that anybody would ever want in their lives. Forester's Lodge. What does that do? Okay, so we need a blacksmith. A tailor. A herbalist. Three foresters. What does that do? Blah, blah, speedy yuppy. What's this do? Oh wow, they've got a lot of stock stuff stockpiled. This is cool. It's called Newsberry, how lovely. Sounds quite cute really. They've got quite a lot of stuff stockpiled as well. All workers need tools. If a citizen doesn't have a tool, the following thing will appear. Tools eventually wear out and need to be replaced, but the blacksmith can make new tools. Okay. So the blacksmith will use logs and iron to make new tools. Here you can see the inventory of what the blacksmith has in storage for making tools. If you run out of materials, you won't be able to do anything. You can also control how many tools to make and put in storage by setting a limit. Right. Okay, so that means it's limited, so they've made 50 basically is why that's there. Okay. Oh, so I can turn it off as well. I want to keep it on though. You can also change the product. Ooh, log to ah, so we can have steel now. This one, so we need clothes, right? So the same thing. Okay, so they can use a combination for the best thing. Oh, okay, so I want warm, 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 warm stuff. If you run out of needed materials, the tailor won't be able to work. Blah blah, none left. Click on the herbalist because that's really easy to see. The yellow circle on the ground around the building shows that the area the herbalist will search for herbs. Can't see it. Oh wow, that's a big, big space. Okay. Scissors need a variety of foods to stay healthy, such as meat, vegetables, fruits, and grains. Ooh. Scissors need a variety of foods, such as meat, vegetables, fruits, and grains. Blah blah. They will die. Yes. This is something to keep in mind. So we need to look for old trees before we place down the herbalist. Rather than constantly, constantly clearing areas of trees to produce firewood, the workers will manage the forest for you. Workers will plant new trees and cut down old trees in an area around the building. The yellow circle, blah blah blah. Okay. You can enable and disable the cutting of trees, so we can choose it so they don't cut them down or they don't plant them. Oh, okay. Cool. By using these buildings, you can help make sure they blah, 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 blah. Next. Okay, so we have specialist areas. That's cool. Uh, 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 um. There are many ways to produce food, hunting, fishing, and gathering. Blah, blah, blah. We, we know this. Food. Cows. Whoops. Nope. 
So, when pasture is being built, you can place other buildings like a hunting cabin to designate an area where hunters should search wild game. Hunters need either open fields or forests to effectively hunt. So, if we get a hunting cabin, it's basically just stick them in the forest and they'll go and look for stuff. Cool! Gatherer's hut, basically the same thing, I'm going to assume. Oh, gatherers. What? Oh, whoops. Oh, so they're next to each other, okay. Crop fields. It's turning into farming simulator. Farmers can also work in an orchard that produces fruit and nuts. Orchard. A lot of farming going on. So, eh. Oh, so now we decide what we want. I want corn. Okay, and the spring workers will plant seeds and the autumn they'll harvest. Okay. After planting the yield meat, it will show how much. Okay, so then we know how when to actually harvest it. Okay. Same thing. Some apples. Okay, so that's for both. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. You can direct them to harvest the fruit early by pressing the harvest button. Okay. Right, okay. I think I understand. Okay. Cows! Oh, well, sheep. That's fine too. Okay, so you press empty to move them. If you want to split the herd, you can press the split button. My light is really bright. To do this, you'll have to have space in other parts. Blah 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 blah. Yes, I understand. Oh dear. Okay, so when it gets to what, 15 of 16, you can control how many animals are kept in the pasture. So 15 or 15. This allows you to quickly gather food. Okay. Blah blah. Hurry up. Go go go. This looks quite cool. Right. I think I am going to play an episode of the career mode or the sandbox or whatever it is, whatever the main mode is, and finish out this tutorial by myself, seeing as I've given you the general gist of what to do. But I will see you all very soon in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed some of this Banished, which is on Steam again. I will link you to it in the description to check out, and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.